Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. If Nancy Pelosi were smart, she would never open her mouth in public again. But, Nancy Pelosi is not smart, so she keeps on rumbling. Nancy Pelosi decided to give an impromptu history lesson during a speech she gave earlier this month. However, the essay she read about the 56 men who signed the Declaration of Independence was rife with inaccuracy. After reading the short essay, Pelosi called on the crowd to, ponder the sacrifices so many people made at the start of our country. Even if many of the sacrifice she just read never occurred. If you want to evoke the memories of the Founding Fathers, then you should probably bone up on your history before appearing live on the internet. The fact-checking website Snopes, while incredibly biased for modern politics, can at least be trusted on settled issues such as the history of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, via Snopes. Snopes analyzed the essay read by Pelosi and uncovered many major issues. Indeed, the essay did not even get the names of many of the signers correct. The essay has been in circulation online since at least 2005, and despite multiple errors, it is still circulated each year around Independence Day. It is sometimes even read aloud by brain dead politicians. However, this is not Pelosi's worst slip up in recent months. The aging Democrat frequently confuses President Trump with former President George W. Bush, indicating that the Congresswoman has not gleaned new information in at least nine years. Pelosi has confused Bush and Trump at least four times this year, causing many to speculate whether or not she is suffering from a neurological condition. These slip ups are common for the Democrat who has no business representing anyone. Despite her verbal difficulties, Pelosi remains a star of the Democrat Party, and she is still serving as the House Minority Leader. Nancy Pelosi may not understand history, who the president is, or even where she is right now, but she is still the smartest politician the Democrats have to offer.